Hello everyone, welcome. We are going to go through a flip through. As you see, I have opened already uh, the box. Here is uh, Hevawa, Hevawa, Hevaya or Hevawa, not sure. And this is um, Eva Liddy's uh, personal business uh, card an email address and everything if you want to purchase your set of cards. How beautiful isn't that? Um, so that's the box and it came in a beautiful bag. And uh, there is a thank you card here as well which is beautiful. So uh, it's nice when they do like that. I like that. And here is the cards. Here is the backs. And this is, of course, runes. And I am not going to read the rune meanings um, at all. I am going to show you the cards and I'm going to read the correspondences um, in the book, uh, let's see, uh, she talks about, um, she talks about the eights. So the first one is of course the, uh, mm, it's uh, Freya's eat, uh, the knowledge. And in there you have, of course, Fehu and all the runes up to eight. Then the next eat will be Heimdall's eat, and that will be the power. And there you have all the runes that are included over there. And then we have uh, Tears eat, or eight, not sure how to pronounce that. And that is the uh, realization. And here is all the runes that goes there. Very beautiful. So that's that. And then um, she talks about the blank rune and that the rune shouldn't be there. And some use it and all that. And that it doesn't have any shape. And it does. I don't agree with her there, of, uh, of course. Origin of, uh, of the runes. She's uh, talking about the history and how Odin did... Um, hang in in the ash tree for nine days and she doesn't say ash tree of course uh but an ash tree and he was hanging for nine days and nine nights without eating just to receive uh, the knowledge of the of the runes and if i'm not remembering it wrong i think that he lost one of his eyes and gained the knowledge of the runes instead he did fall down uh how uh, how to use the runes. Uh, and then you have um, reversal uh, meanings. Um, moon faces, because you have the moons as uh, in here as well. Um, purify, purify your cards is the next. And then she talks about one card uh, spread, three card spreads, um, yeah, then she has Odin, uh, Odin's uh, or Odin's hammer. And we say Odin, Odin. That's why. Well, and then there is another spread called the head of the god M Mimir, and here is all of it. And then she jumps into the runes. So, um. And I did, oops, I did mess this up, of course, because I was trying to show, let me have a sip of my coffee. Oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> so well, let's go into Freya's et um, and, and look at the runes. And uh, I'm not going to read the meanings. I'm just going to look at the correspondence and let you know, because... Not all people know this. Some do, some don't, and some have their own um, uh, theories, uh, theories on how it should be. So here we have element fire is Fahu. Tree is um, Hazelnut. Uh, and uh, elder, Elderberry. 
herb is uh, nettle, crystal is uh, garnet, and ro rhodonite or rhodonite. Um, animal is um, cattle and deer. Astrology is Arius. And here you have above, you have Freya's eat, then you have the rune, and then you have the planet here. Um, I mean the sign, and then you have the name, and you have uh, the words, keywords. I usually don't use uh, rune cards uh, for throwing uh, or reading. I like the runes uh, instead. Um, so for me, <laughs> I bought this for the knowledge, but it wasn't so much of knowledge. The next card is, um, uh, is, um, Uruz and uh, here we, the, the correspondence is element is earth, uh, tree is birch and elder and herb is, uh, sp spagmum. And spagmum moss, I don't know if that's the same or separate. Crystal is a moonstone and azurite or azurite. Uh, animal is bo, uh, bo, bodia, bodi, bo, 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 I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this in uh, general and then astrology is Taurus. I'm going to show this because maybe I'm pronouncing the animal wrong. So here you can see um, the animal in the text. Um, so let's see. So the next uh, The next is Tourisage, and here we have um, uh, Element is Fire, of course, Tree is Houghton, and Fear and uh, Trees with uh, Needles uh, or uh, Thorns, Herb is House Leek, Crystal is Hematite, uh, red jasper, and animal is uh, scorpion and aggressive animals. Um, star is Mars. Okay. So now we come to answers, and answers is correspondence um, so his correspondence is air tree ash uh, lime tree and then we have uh, herb is fly uh, ag uh, agaric agaric uh, crystal is lapis lazuli and uh, agate and uh, Sapphire and aquamarine. Animal is crow, uh, geese, uh, geese, sorry, geese, and all the messengers um, of the sky. And uh, star is Venus. Okay. So, Rado. And Radar is um let's see the element is air tree is oak herb is uh mugva mugwort crystal is ruby topaz and sodalite animal is falcon and uh, astrology uh, Sag Sag Sagittarius, Sag Sagittarius, Sagittarius, okay, Kenna, uh, 
Uh, so for Kenna, we have um, element is air, tree is uh, mountain elm, and ash tree. Herb is hertzi 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 Crystal is um, rhodochrosite and malachite and jade. Animal is bee, dolphin and well. Astrology is Pisces. Okay. So we come to Gibo. Um, why does it go to uh, Gibo? So Gibo here we have um, air. Uh, tree is mountain elm, ash tree. Herb is uh, herbsesy. Wow, did it did it did I read this wrong? Okay, I have read this. So next is Winjo. So that was Gibo. So now we go to um Vinjo Winjo and here we have the element is um I've lost myself, so bear with me. Earth tree is uh, chestnut guardian uh, oak ash tree so there is a couple of trees herb is flax um animal is uh, sorry uh, crystal is aventurine lapis lazuli animal is animals uh, living in in a herd or pack and astrology leo Hagalas and Hagalas goes into uh, him um, into the next eat or eight uh, is Hamdol's uh, eat and uh, so Hagalas uh, the correspondent correspondence here is element air tree is oak Yeve, uh, Taxus, uh, Bacata, Bacata. Uh, herb is Lily of the Valley, uh, Brionia and Brionia. Crystal, Celestine and Quartz. Animal, Beaver, Astrology, Aquarius. Okay. So now we go to Nauties. Uh, Nauties. Here we have the uh, element fire, tree, uh, birch, and mountain ash. Birds, um, eye, roven. Herb is uh, bistort, crystal, onyx, obsidian. Animal, dog, astrology, Capricorn. But the cards are very nice and I hope that you can see all of them because uh, I think that they are very beautiful done. So the next card that we go to and rune is Isa. I like Isa, even if not, people don't like her. Element water as ice, so cold as ice. Tree is fear and alder. Herb is uh, uh, hem, hemban. Henban. I hope I'm pronouncing that all right. Crystal is uh, tourmaline in the uh, form of a needle. As uh, animal is seal and white bear. That's a strong animal. Star moon. Uh, 
And then we go to Yira. Yira. Can I say Yara? Okay, so correspondence here is element, earth, tree, fruit, uh, trees, oak, tree. Uh, herb is uh, rosemary. Crystal is citrine. Animal is swallow and stork and star is sun and then we go to next rune which is um, which is elva el evha e evhas evhas and um well i know i'm not good at pronouncing that element all so all element is there tree is yeave uh, gray poplar herb is mandra mandrake crystal is topaz quartz fossil wood animal snake astrology Scorpio. Interesting. So this is my uh, birth sign. So let's go to Petra. And Petra uh, is element water, tree, uh, birch, aspen, Aspen apple tree, herb is ac aconite, crystal is onyx, uh, amethyst, animal is crow, and star Saturn. Okay, this is a strong rune. Algae. Um, Elhas, she's calling algis. Maybe it's called like that as well. Element air, and this is for protection, of course. Element air, tree oak, give, tormi, tormial, uh, sapwood, herb, angel, uh, angelica, uh, crystal, aquamarine, chris. Chrysocolla, animal, moose, swan, and ghost. Astrology, cancer. Oh, my allergy is killing me. Uh, so we go to Sovilo, and Sovilo. Um, element here is air, of course. It should have been fire for me, but yeah. Tree is a uh, noble, uh, laure 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 laurel, oak, and juniper. Herb, mistletoe, uh, crystal, topaz, uh, citrine, and amber. Animal, eagle, and hair. Star, sun. So that's a very strong rune, Sovilo. And I can understand the eagle over there. Now let's go to tier. And we go into tiers eight. So the next last runes. And here we have um, Tivas, tier for me. And uh, correspondence here is element, air, tree, oak, uh, chestnut, herb, uh, conflow, conflower, sorry, conflower and sage. Uh, crystal is sodalite, uh, sa sap sapphire, lapis lazuli. Animal is bear and astrology is Libra. Okay. 
Ber Bercano. Bercano here, she has um, element of earth. Uh, tree is birch, of course. Herb is alchem alchemilia. Ar sorry, archemila uh, and vulgar. Uh, crystal is moonstone. Chale. Uh, Chalcedony, I hope I'm pronouncing that all right. Animal is wild uh, boar and saw or sob. Astrology is uh, Virgo. Virgo. Wow, oh, okay, interesting. So let's go to next. So we have. Um, Evas and correspondence here is earth, tree is ash and oak, uh, herb is ragwort, crystal is agate and opal, animal is horse uh, and uh, squirrel, astrology is gemini. So, and then the next uh, rune that we go off to is Manaz. And that is the human rune for humanity. And here we have element is air. Tree is my maple, um, black alder, and holy. Uh, herb is uh, mother. mother. Uh, crystal is uh, turquoise. Amethyst and Chrysocolla. Animal is fox and star Jupiter. So she has the stars. She has, you know, the astrology in all here. It's nice. And then she has uh, Lagus. And um, Lagus is element water, of course. Uh, tree is willow and apple tree. Um, wicker, ash tree. Herb is leek. Crystal is coral and opal and pebbles. Animal, salmon, dolphin. Star, moon. Interesting. And then we go to Ingvas. And Ingvas correspondences are uh, water element, uh, yeah, water element and earth. So it has both. Then we have a free a tree is a apple tree and Houghton and uh, home. Um, I'm not sure if I Hornberm I hope I'm reading that correctly and then uh, herb is slow or s s yeah slowy not sure wow crystal is moonstone and coral Animal is goat and uh, star new moon. Whew, some of this is not so easy. And then we go to Utala. And Utala stand, correspondence is earth. Tree is hawthorn and apple tree. And here we have uh, herb is white clover and uh, gold tr gold thread and then we have crystal is uh bull bull yeah bull's eye uh, fossil fossils and turi turitella 
Wow, okay. Animal is wolf and star is full moon. And then we go to Dagas, the day rune, the change. And her elements are fire and air. Tree is uh, fear, birch, oak and uh, sprouts. Herb is orville. Crystal is tiger's eye. Sun, stone. Uh, animal is uh, roast, roaster. Star is half moon. Okay, so now we have gone through um, through the through the runes, and here we have Ger, and that that is an empty rune, and she doesn't talk much about it. She talks that this rune shouldn't be here, according to some, and so on. Um, so the the moon faces are. Um, New moon. So here we have new moon. And then we have um, vaccine crescent. Then we have uh, first uh, quarter. There we have uh, waxing. Um, Gib gibbous and then we have uh, oops I'm having two full moon and here we have wax uh, waxing gibbous and then we have um, last qu quarter and last but least uh, wanting uh, gibbous Sorry, one in crescent, not gibbous, one in crescent. So um, now we have gone all through all this. Um, I'm not going to go through all the meanings uh, of, of the cards. Uh, I can go through some. Um, and for me, Fahu stands for new beginnings, wealth, uh, wealth and uh, prosperity. Uh, from this, Urus stands uh, for me, um, I see this as uh, letting go of things that you don't need, let go of bad habits and move forward um, and strength. You know, you have your strength with your ancestry. Um, Tourisage is a, a, a rune that talks about sudden changes that you're can't control this can talk about abuse sexual abuse um uh, mental abuse and so on so many things ansu stands for communication energy flow um and meditation movement is rado kenna is change let go of whatever you don't need in life gibu communication partnership Sometimes uh, this can stand for that you're putting your thoughts in jail, depending on with what rune it will fall with. Window, um, window is joy rune together with others. Uh, some, you know, business working out, things are happening in a good way. Hagalas changes uh, that you can't change, but also healing um, uh, and so on. Nauties, uh, heaviness. Uh, too much of, you know, happening at the same time uh, can be difficult. Um, so, yeah. Uh, oops. Uh, Isa, standstill, stagnation. Yira, uh, moving forward, the time is going to be slow. It can take up to a year, depending on what project you're working on. If it's about relationships, things are, you know, this can be about stepping into a relationship that will develop in a slow way. Here is uh, Ehevaz, and this, I always see this as, you know, 
uh, step into uh, you know to the nature, learn, heal. It will take you time to heal, but you're working your way up. Uh, and uh, use crystals. Uh, Petro stands for overcoming difficult situation, having justice, and uh, you know receiving you know seeing light after the darkness. Uh, struggles, algis, protection, sovilo, positivity, joy, pregnancy, uh, good news, freeing your sexual uh, self, Tira, uh, tiv, tiva, uh, tiv, tivas, uh, tear for me stands for strength, stands uh, depending on how it will fall, this is the mainly rune, uh, offering, um, and so on, Berkana, Birth, um, Mother Earth, uh, family, love, receiving, giving. Uh, then the next one is Ehvaz uh, talks about meditation, talks about frustration and energies within yourself, uh, mirroring yourself with other people. Well, it depends on your energy. Manas, you know, stands for you know, working things with other people, uh, projects, um, humanity, uh, and all that. Lagu can stand for depression, but it can stand for strength, uh, depending on what, how it will fall. Uh, but it's a very positive rune, and um, but also, you know, this can be difficult rune as well. Ingvas, relationship, sex sexuality, uh, sometimes... Um, um, fertility, Udala or Utala um, stands for, you know, things that is within the family, business, things working out, having stability in your work. Dagas is the day rune, meditation, need to go through change, a complete change. Uh, don't be afraid to be in the center, take your step. Uh, and the empty rune talks about... Um, Gear, I call it as gear. She calls calls it uh, as uh, weird, um, and it has um, a shape like you imagine that it will be across here and across here. So that will be gear. So it's like gear, uh, gear, uh, um, ingvas together with gibo. That's the shape together. Uh, and then we have the moons. And the moons I'm not going to talk about. Um, so, uh, so yeah, now you have a little bit on how I look on on the runes a little bit. It's like uh, outside of touch. And they will have different meaning in relationships and they will have different meaning when it comes to work and all that. So depends on your knowledge. So let me know what you think about this um, deck. Um the book is okay. Um, I was hoping for more information, uh, actually. Uh, and in some of them, I didn't agree of how she did explain the runes. In some, I did. Uh, I like the correspondence there with the crystals and trees and, and elements and um, uh, and all. So it was nice. So uh, over, overall, this is a nice deck. Um, and... Something good for a new beginner. So enjoy, blessings, and hope to see you other. Don't forget to subscribe. You can click on my name, Asha Light Eagle Whispers Healing with My Ancestors, and and a new uh will new window will open, and you click on about, and there you will find me. Uh, find links to my Instagram and also to uh, my Facebook page. Um, so yeah, if you, and you, if you catch me on Facebook, uh, you might receive a mini read or a question answered or something, depending on what I'm doing. So, um, uh, till next time, blessings.